All right, second half of uh, You Should Be All Night Long Solo. So we left off with the last riff was the... Uh, so that's part part one. Go back to that if you uh, haven't already. So let's jump up. We're now going to jump up to G minor pentatonic in 15th position. So this is the same box we were playing back in third. All right, or go to 1-4, one, 1-3, one, 1-3, one, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, 1-4. One, but now we're moving it up an octave higher to 15th. So we're going to start by doing a bend on the... 18th fret of our B string, of our second string. We're going to do a whole step bend. We're going to make that sound like A, which would be a whole step higher than our G. That A is also on the 15th fret of your high E string. So you could put both fingers down. So you get a first finger on the G, 15th fret of your high E, then third finger or pinky, whichever, on the 18th fret of your B string. And you can bend that note. Don't bend the first string, just bend two. I'm going to keep checking them with my pick until I get them in tune. Too high, too low. It's a good way to practice. Anyway, there's a video on bending here for that. But anyway, we're going to do the bend. We don't need to hold that one. Whole step on the end of beat four, then we're going to hit it again while it's still up there on beat uh, two of the next beat. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and one, two. I guess we do bend it up this on beat two, two, sorry, three, four, and one, two. Then just like uh, how we started the first part of solo, we're going to go the 15th fret, first string, then the second string, so I'm just going to borrow my finger across those. So first string to the second string on the 15th fret, then we're going to hit the 18th fret for this F, and that's going to go and, four, and. So again, we're bending this G, or this F, sorry, to make it sound like a G on the and of beat four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, bending it again on two, little vibrato, and four, and, so the and to beat three, we're going to go to this G, 15th fret of your high E, D, 15th fret of your B, then that 18th fret of your uh, B string uh, for the uh, F again. Uh, actually, I guess I maybe, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, yeah, I use my pinky when I come back to it. I, so I bend with my third finger and my second behind it for support. And then I come back to my pinky, because then we're going to go grab the 17th fret of our G string for a C, and we're going to bend that a whole step, which would match the 15th fret of your B string for a D. So you'll notice when you're working on strings 1 and 2 to practice those bends, there is two frets in between where you're bending in the note that you're is stationary. And then in strings between two and three, there's only one fret, and that's because the guitar is tuned slightly different there, right? G to B is only a third, B to E is a fourth. Anyway, for a later lesson. Okay, so we had our bend on the 18th, bend it again, 15, 15, and one and two, back to that 18th with the pinky, bend the 17th fret of your third string, the G, that's a C, we're bending it to D, release it, come back to this B flat on the 15th fret, then G, on the uh, 17th fret of the D string. So we have three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and, sorry, three, and four, and one, and two, and. So. And with the count, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and. Then you're gonna come back and hit the 17th fret, both strings two and three together. Back to that B flat on the 15th of your third string. Then you're going to bend that same bend you did before, that C, and you're going to bend it up to D. So Then you'll put your pinky in. While you do this bend, you're going to put your pinky in on the 18th fret, that same F we played earlier. You're going to hit the pinky with the bend up. Then you're going to bend again, pinky again, bend again. Come back to this B flat on the 15th fret and the G. So we're going... Sorry, I'll do that again. And that counting is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we're going to go back to those two on the 17th again, strings two and three. Back to the two on the 15th fret, strings two and three again. And then. 17th fret 3 and 4, and then back again to 15th fret 2 and 3. All called double stops because you're hitting two notes at the same time. 
Then we're heading towards the ending. We're going to hit this D, 15th fret of your high B string. We're going to go do a whole step bend on this B flat, which is the 18th fret of your high E. Now for that one, we have no string to compare it to, so we just have to hear the C here and then bend it to make it sound like it. We're going to bend that on the and of four, then we're going to bend it again, but only a half step this time, just to make it sound like that. So the first bend had to sound like the C, the second bend had to sound like the B. So we go bend it up a whole step. So I should throw this in first, this 15th fret of our... Then you come back to the 17th fret for a half step bend, pull off to the 15th fret. So up on the 17th, that's an A, bending it to B flat, releasing, pulling off to the G. So I'm going to backtrack to the beginning of uh, the last measure here that started with the double stops, both on the 17th, strings 2 and 3, both on the 15th, 2 and 3, both on the 17th, 3 and 4, back to 15th, 2 and 3, then just that 15th fret of the B string, second string, to the 18th fret for the whole step bend, then a half step bend, and then come back a half step to the 17th fret for another half step bend, release it, pull off. So we had... And that's one and two and three, four and one, two, three and four and... So this D was on beat four, that first bend was on the and of four, then we waited till beat two to do the half step bend, came back to the 17th fret of the and of three, then that takes us to the 17th, bar it again, but we're going to hit string 1, then 2, back to the 15th, then the 18th of the second string. So we got, and another whole step bend. So 17th for the A on your high E, E, 17th of your B string, then G, 15th of your high E, then bend that F again, that same F we've been bending a lot. So, and then one more 15 of the high E for that G, and back to that F again, oh, with the pinky this time, sorry, like we did before, because we're again going to bend half step bend, I guess, this time on the 17th fret of our G string, pull off to the 15th again, we've done that before, and then back that 17th to slide to 19th, so, and then we're going to get the 17th fret of our B string, slide to the 17th, sorry, 15th fret of our B string for a D, slide to E a 17th fret higher, to the 17th, 15 of the high E, back to 17 of the B, 15 twice, on the high E, 17 for a little half step bend, and back to 15. I know I did a whole bunch there in one shot, but just in case I run out of time here in the video. So I'm going to backtrack now to where uh, the, the last three measures. So we're going to go the seventh, where we bar the 17th, you go strings 1 to 2, back to the 15th, 18th for the bend, so we got, and that's just 1 and 2 and 3, 15 to 18 of the first string to the second string, that G to F again. Oh, with the pinky, sorry, I'm doing it with the wrong finger. Bend the 17th fret again like we did before, release, pull off to the 15th, slide 17 to 19, then 15 to 17 on the B string, 15 for the, uh, on the